Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today it's um, Saturday and uh, it's my day off today. I've been to the hairdressers and um, yeah, so far so good. And I've decided to do a video on the beauty front. I, I haven't done many of these, so I hope you'll like this one. And it's a very special video because I'm going to talk about um, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Charlotte Tilbury is a brand that um, I've become familiar over the last few months and um, it's one of those really really hype up brands and there is a good reason for this uh, because most of the products I've tried I really really liked. Uh, there are a few that are not as to my taste uh, but overall I think it's worth um, looking at and um, I've decided to share my um, best and worst product by Charlotte Tilbury and by no means um, um, this is you know that this is only a few products that I've tried um, some of them um, I um, have been using every day some of them I've been using every so often and um, some of the products that I don't think are that great maybe good for some people so uh, all in all you know take it with a pinch of salt it's just my personal opinion my personal judgments um, and yeah I hope it will be useful and I certainly love watching these videos so yeah without further rambling let's begin so starting with the favorite ones um in no particular order well the order will be from the products that I use the most to the products I use the least and the products I use the most that I love to the products that I use the least I don't think they are that great so that's the order and um and yeah let's begin so number one <laughs> will be a product that um will come no surprises uh, but it's not a, well it's a skincare so that's to start so shall look Tilbury and uh, the skincare this makeup um this you know stuff in between a such body care um but this particular product it's um it's magic eye cream and can you see I just about and um, so I'm 33 at the minute and um I I started paying more attention to skincare um of the eye area in particular over the last few years I've been always pretty good with with my skincare schedule but um you know I've, I've decided to invest in the in the good eye cream and this one uh, is if you open it up as you can see I'm nearly there so I've used the whole pot and um, it retails for about 40 pounds um, so slightly over 40 pounds and it's supposed to um, rejuvenate and smooth to turn back the clock. Um, I'm not sure about turning back the clock but it's a it's, it's really nice cream to use. I use it every day, morning and night. I've noticed that the eye area is more plumped. I've noticed um, that my um, you know eye area is not as dark, eye circles are not as pronounced. Um, very very nice product and um, it's a 15 15 mil pod um, and I had this particular one since September so September October November we are in December so the fourth month I'm using this one so yeah all in all I think money well spent and I'm certainly going to repurchase this one so yeah number one for me number two it's going to be no surprises it's the skincare as well and this one is a travel size so that's that's why it's so small but it's the magic um magic day cream so um there is a magic day cream magic night cream and magic eye cream um it's supposed to be the day one is supposed to be really good for um and the makeup yeah it doesn't smell you know of of anything in particular um it it glides really nicely on your skin um makes your makeup style stay all day very nice product to use 
a pricey one, I think the full size pot. Um, I don't want to lie, but I think it's about £70, so extremely, extremely pricey. Um, but extremely luxurious to use, and um, I will certainly be repurchasing the, the day cream. Um, I think it's worth trying at least once, and um, if you don't love it, fine. If you do love it, um, it will serve you um, for a long, long time. But um, this mini travel size, um, I will take it on quite a few trips and uh, definitely will will use it. So yeah, uh, number number two for me. Uh, number three um, will be makeup. And I've got two lipsticks and um, I'm not sure whether I can say one is better than the other because um, they are both equally uh, great. So first of all, the packaging. So everything by Charlotte Tilbury goes with that rose gold packaging. And um, there is a CT, so Charlotte Tilbury and Grave um, in both of the lipsticks. And both, um, the, the, the sort of a brownish sticker on the bottom. It looks very stylish, very chic, um, beautiful to keep it in your handbag. Uh, so the first uh, lipstick is extremely, extremely loved and used and there's absolutely hardly anything left, as you can see. Can you see? It's hardly, hardly you can see. So this one is Pillow Talk. I'm going to swatch it. Yeah, so that's sort of a brownish nude colour. And um, on because I'm I'm quite pale, that lighting does not do my skin justice. But I'm quite pale, and um, this color comes more um, more brownish, more pinky brownish rather than just skipping, uh, rather than nude. Um, but yeah, extremely extremely wearable and um, everyday lipstick uh, stays pretty well. It does not stay as well as some of the matte lipsticks, it's semi matte. Um, but yeah, I, I do, do, do like it. I've used it, I think I've mentioned that in my previous video, beauty video, which was the um, What's In My Makeup bag, that was my new lipstick at the time, and I've been loving this one ever since. It smells really nice, um, yeah, love this one. And the second one is the newest purchase, the one I'm wearing today. It's the um, one of the most famous um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's called Red Carpet Red. And it comes out as very, very dark. Uh, but when you put it on, I feel it's lighter than it comes um, in. So if I swatch it, I think it will come darker than it comes on my lips. Can you see? Um, very, very wearable. I wore it all day when I went handbag shopping in Manchester. I've topped it up once. Um, I had my sandwich. It lasted very well. I had a coffee. Um, it's, I would say it's more matte than the previous one, than the pillow talk. Um, yeah, my absolutely number one favorite red lipstick at the minute. So yeah, thumbs up for that. Uh, two more from the um, two more from the uh, makeup range. Uh, uh, first of all, is the powder. So it's called Airbrush Flawless Finish uh, Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Mine is number one, which is fair. As you can see, again, beautiful packaging, stunning. Um, it opens like so, and that's my only criticism to this powder. Maybe there is a reason for that, you don't want it to open easily and just, you know, um, ruin everything. But it, it is quite difficult to open, so it comes with a mirror, just a little bit dirty, and that's the powder itself. I'm wearing it today as well. It's very glowy very nice on your skin you can top it up as many times as you want it uh, keeps the shine away um yeah does it what it says um it's not cheap oh by the way i think the lipsticks are about 
I'd say between 20 and 25 pounds each. This one is about 30, 33 pounds, um, so not cheap for a powder. Had it for some time now. Um, yeah, love this. And the packaging is to die for. So that is this one. And the, um, the next one in line is another makeup uh, product. Mm. This one is a, a huge deal for me because this is a first ever, <coughs> excuse me, this one is a first ever product by Charlotte Tilbury that I've tried and I loved and that's how they loved the brand started. It's the cream eyeshadow in um, color bet. <coughs> I've got a tickle. So it comes in this sort of creamy consistency and it looks very, very goldy in the um, in the packaging. Um, you can use the um, eyeshadow brush to put that on. You can use your fingers to put it on. It glides really well. You can put it on your upper eyelid and then just under um, your lower lashes as well. It gives that sort of nice, easy look without trying too hard. I'm not great with eyeshadows and this is the eyeshadow I can use, I can do every day. If I swatch it, um, it's very pigmented, very, very pigmented. So the one that I bought um, about, it must be about a year ago now. Okay, it's six months. Mm. Um, I'll still use it. Um, it's comes um really really pigmented can you see really really pigmented so i took a just a teeny tiny and i could swatch it and swatch it um yeah beautiful beautiful um sort of a tan with a gold ideal for christmas parties um as i said had it for about a year um used it loads you can hardly see anything left you can see hardly anything gone out of the packaging um so yeah absolutely absolutely recommend and it's ideal for people like myself who don't know how to do the eyeshadows so absolutely stunning and the very last uh, one that i'm using on a daily basis and then i'm moving on to products that maybe are not so great um, so the last one um, is the eye pencil, um, eye, eyebrow pencil. It's called Brown Lift and it's a three-way tool to um, shade the eyebrows. And I, again, I'm wearing it today. It comes with a brush. So there is a um, sort of a, a product on one side. There is a brush on the other side. And then in between that, I have to be careful because it's funny way how they've, and in between, there is this thing that you can um, shape your uh, um, brow arch, so you can add it, and it's got this sort of a, a shimmery, shimmery um, feel to it. I don't know whether you can see. Um, so yeah, sort of a highlight. So that's a um, pretty, pretty nice idea. It, it is quite expensive again it's about 30 pounds um maybe slightly less it's not the the best eyebrow pencil I've, I've ever used but um i think it's pretty good i love the brush i love how the pencil is shaped um i will repurchase it um but um again i'm maybe willing to try other stuff as well but yeah, I would I would say if you haven't tried it, um, it's definitely worth trying. It comes in variety of shades as well. Mine is Supermodel. Supermodel, yeah. So um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say it's a must must like the um, like the lipsticks or the eye cream or the the pressed powder, but it's pretty good product um, for what it is and um, the final one from the category that I think is worth trying but I'm not sure whether it's worth the money or I'm not sure it's for everybody is um, again that will be controversial is this and um, so it's a scent of Charlotte Tilbury so it's called scent of dream 
This one is a gift, so that's why it comes unpacked. Um, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful glass bottle, um, very luxurious packaging again. Um, it's got white and rose gold. Um, this one's going to be a present for my mum, and I think she will like the fragrance. It's, I'm wearing it today, so I can describe it. I do like the fragrance. I don't love it. Um, the, the perfumes itself um, are quite pricey. For about 50 mils, um, you're paying £68, I believe. So it is pretty pricey. It's sort of a Chanel or Dior um, bracket. <sighs> How do I describe this fragrance? It's... Um, it's old-fashioned, it's for, for sure old-fashioned. I do like to wear it from time to time. I wear it, I'm wearing it today and I would be um, more than happy um, to wear it on, you know, odd day. It's, it's an old-fashioned in a, in a good way. It, it reminds me of, and that's going to sound awful, but it reminds me of like a really, really old-school fragrance that my, my grandma used to wear. And um, it's maybe more modern. It's it's got certain um, twist to it. Um, yeah, it it's it's a strange fragrance. Um, again, I personally quite like it. I don't think it's my favorite fragrance, as, as I said, but I I do like it. It's got certain like a vibe of Chanel Number no. Five, if 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 you know what I mean. Uh, but. I think my mum would really like it and I think definitely my grandma would really like it. It's definitely not a young fragrance, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, if you get, can get a sample, I would definitely recommend to do so. And I would definitely recommend to smell it to see if it's your cup of tea. Um, yeah, maybe not every day for me, but I wouldn't certainly say no if somebody bought me this. Yeah, if that makes any sense. So yeah, and then and there are two products that I don't personally love. Again, um, they are not necessarily bad products. It's just for me, they, they have not worked that much. So first of all, and again, it's going to be like uh, controversial. This one is mini size again, and it's the Magic Night Cream. I love the day cream. I love the eye cream, the night cream, it's just far too greasy. Um, it's it broke me up. Ugh. See, even even pulling that out, it looks like a more balmy. It 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 smells really nice, but it's just far too greasy. It's 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 more like a mask. It broke me up on my chin a number of times. It's it's very expensive. Again, a price bracket is about seventy pounds is very rich very very rich and I've got dry to dry combination skin this is too much for me and uh, maybe for somebody with extremely dry skin or maybe like just around your lips or if you've got like you know dry patches um yeah just just not 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 agreeing with me and um, and the final product, again, it's a full-size product, and I bought that um, when I was going on holiday, is the Overnight Bronze Glow, um, Overnight Bronze um, and Glow Mask. Uh, Overnight Hydrating Flawless Tan Mask. I don't think it's particularly a bad product. I don't think it's excellent for what you're paying again i think that's retails for about 30 pounds mark basically the concept is that you're putting on your face overnight instead of your moisturizer or you know after serum and you waking up and you've got that glow and um, yeah it, it, it does give you a little bit of a glow it's not massive color difference in terms of the face um it's um it's got the smell, and I don't know whether... No, you can smell it now, but it's got a smell of fake tan, and I just can't stand that smell. Um, I don't like fake tanning. I don't do it very often, but if I do, I try to use products that do not have that distinctive smell. 
and this one when I put on my face when I wake up in the morning I can smell it the glow is a little bit like on a sort of not existing side and um, it, it gives you a little bit of like a um, sun-kissed look but not enough for me to justify using it and I don't think it hydrates my skin enough again to be able to justify using it I've got a fair bit left and um, I might have one or two trips coming up and I'm going to certainly use it if I look probably just about half use and I'm going to definitely give it another go again I wouldn't written it off completely it's just maybe it's got more cons for me than prons and uh, but pros but um yeah, I think if you if you're up for fake tanning, if you're up for products like that, and uh, definitely give it a go. Definitely try. It comes white. It comes, you know, um, completely um, clear. Um, so um, so yeah, um, not hundred percent sold on this. So that's it. And there's one product that I haven't mentioned that I don't have with me, but it's certainly worth trying in my opinion. Although um, I know it had a mixed reviews. It's the dry sheet mask, sheet mask that you just put um, on your face and it's got that sort of funny thing that you put behind the ears. I've tried it a few times but I've used, oh you can use it up to three times and I've tried the masks a um, few times and I personally quite liked it. It's very dry but when you put it on your face, when you take the mask off, it's got, it gives you that sort of a more oily feel and extremely difficult to describe but um, again quite pricey i think for one uh, they retail for about 18 pounds for four they retail for 60 pounds in my opinion they are worth trying uh, again it might be not everybody's cup of tea but i would certainly um be happy to um to repurchase so um that's it um hope you liked it it's some, something slightly different for me I'm in a different setting as you can see it's, it's my bedroom so it's much darker and gloomier and um, but yeah I kind of like it so I hope you like it too let me know what your favorite products of Charlotte Tilbury are um, and I would be waiting for your recommendations and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check my blog um, I run a blog um, storybyagi.com uh, loads of fashion and travel and beauty content so um would love to uh, for you to try it or check check it out and yeah don't forget to subscribe and uh, thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you soon